Hi, I'm Chris Jenner, and this is Hot Trash. <laughs> Hi, I'm Darcy Drollinger, and this is Hot Trash. Our top trash was spilling tea on the GOP! <laughs> Senate Republican Lindsey Graham was being called out on Twitter by porn star Josh Harding. Is it Josh Harding? John Harding. <laughs> Damn it! Harding took to Twitter to expose a homophobic Republican senator with the initials LG. <gasps> I know! It seems that in the escort circle, he's known as Lady G. And now that's the number one trending hashtag on Twitter. I love it. Though I thought it was Lady Gaga. But I guess that would be Lady Gigi, because otherwise it's Lady Gag. No, that's still two Gs. Lady Ga, Lady Gay. I'm going down a rabbit hole here. Anyway, escorts and gay celebs galore are joining the cause and calling for receipts on Lady G. Look, you guys, I believe that coming out is a personal choice and no one should get to make that but you. Unless your name is Lindsey Graham. And then I'm like, drag that bitch out of the closet by the wig! <laughs> Lady G, you do not get to enjoy the fruits and then chop down the tree. Look, if it's good enough to sleep with, it's good enough to give some basic human rights to. Hello? Okay, okay. What do you think his grinder name is? Lindsay Down Lohan? Uh, Teddy Grahams? Come into my chambers. Or I hate myself so much, LOL, spank me hard daddy. <laughs> I could get into that one. Let me see. And now, talking trash. J.K. Rowling, the billionaire author of Harry Potter, is getting trolled for her transphobic tweets again. Sweetie, if you can believe in freaking magic children, you can believe in trans women, OK? I mean, otherwise, you're just another turf. Trans exclusionary radical feminist. Boo! And that's the golden snitch, bitch. OK, Harry Poofter. Oh, sorry. I mean, well, actually, you kind of are one. True. And Meghan McCain is in hot water for saying that George Floyd protesters eviscerated her neighborhood and turned it into a war zone. She wasn't even home. Her neighbor, who writes for Samantha B, tweeted, um, hello, Megan. I live in the same building. I just walked outside. Everything's fine. She blamed her mistake on her pregnancy. I mean, I hate it when my baby makes me lie. I'm a size four. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! And K-pop fans Stans. are doing... What? Stands. Like fans. But what's stand for? Super fan? Don't, yeah. We don't say fans anymore. We say stands. K-pop stands are fighting back against the White Lives Matter hashtag drowning out the racist posts with catchy K-pop songs. I love it! Hit you with the doo -doo 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 -doo. And now... Celebrity bitch slap. <laughs> Kim and Kanye keep it confidential. Shh. The power couple have threatened to sue their former bodyguard for 10 million bucks over false and defamatory statements that he made on a podcast, which I would never repeat. Okay, I'll repeat it. Kanye makes everyone walk 10 paces behind him. Oh. And he gets pissed off if you block paparazzi shots. Oh. And he makes everyone applaud when he walks in the room. Oh, no, actually, that's me. And now, quarantine fashion. I'm too cheap to buy a mask, too cheap to buy a mask, don't I look like an ass? I'm a moron, you know what I mean, cause I think that this works as a face mask, yeah, as a face mask, it's a face mask, yeah, I'm safe and secure with my face mask. I mean, hey, use what you got, am I right? Oh God, I think I'm totally mask for mask. And now, the hashtag trash tag. 
Send me a hashtag challenge and I'll do it. Or at least I'll try to do it. I mean, I love a good challenge. This week, it's the hashtag wipe down challenge where TikTokers wipe a mirror down and get a surprise reveal. Let's do it. Is it the wipe it down? Wipe it down. Okay, God, you guys are sticklers. <laughs> Wipe it down, wipe, 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 wipe it down, wipe. I got it! Mm. Hello? Yes, this is Darcy. You want a drag name? Okay, look, I'm really good at that. Tell me, what is your favorite thing in the whole world? Pumpkin spice lattes? Girl, I got the perfect drag name for you. Kim Basic, bitch. Basic. <laughs> Call me back in nine and a half weeks. Oh. Venmo me $5 and I'll come up with a drag name for you! That's my Venmo right there. I'm serious. I'll do it. I'll do anything for $5. And a lot worse for a lot less. Oh! oh! I'll get it! Oh, it must be my other line. Hello? <laughs> it's a social media shout out! Here are the winners and losers on social media this week. Neighborhoods are over police, so of course they have higher rates of crime. And white perpetrators are under charge, so of course they have lower rates of crime. And all of those stupid stats you keep using are operating off a small sample size. So shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Encore, 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 s'il te plaît, encore. <laughs> That's magnifique. Magnifique. Why are you detaining me? You about to lose your job. You about to lose your job. Get this dance. Forget Chromatica. This is the hot bop of summer 2020. You about to lose your job. Next up, Hollywood trash. Celebrities are chipping in to bail out protesters across the country. Well, let's just say it, if Tucker Carlson is trolling you, you know you're doing something good. Hottie Seth Rogen has the best response for fans who troll his Black Lives Matter posts. Why can't you f*** you? Go f*** yourself. <laughs> Holy sh And Sharon Stone <laughs> is sharing her homemade safe room tips on Instagram. Watch this. Probably the safest bet that you have might be your bathroom because you have maybe the least windows or you're the most tucked in there. <laughs> That's about as tucked as I'm gonna get, Sharon. I mean, you just saw a sliver. I mean, you can see no bulge, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there's more. I mean, basically, it's my instinct to tuck. I don't know, sorry. All right, moving on. And in trash that came out this week. My new favorite show, We're Here, just got renewed for a second season! Yay! I love Bob, I love Shangela, and I love Eureka. They are so fabulous, and they've all performed at Oasis. I wish you'd all come back, we miss you. Also, on HBO Max, which used to be HBO Now, I mean, I can't keep up, there's a brand new show called Legendary. It's basically a voguing competition that explores ball culture. I love balls, especially hanging from my chin. <laughs> I 
I give it a 10. Tens across the board. I give it a 69. 69s across the board. I give it 420. 420 across the board. Clackety clack 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 clack. I've fallen and I can't get up. Get free information by mail. Call 1 800 47 Alert. Even Sesame Street tackled racism this week. Oh my god, there's a brand new grumpy cat on the scene. Yes, it is true. Let's watch this cat do its thing. Thanks so much for tuning in to Hot Trash. I'm Darcy Drollinger. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. But before we go, we've got one last trash. Hey, Ty, your auntie is here. Here? Oh, God, which one this time? I mean, really, like aunt number 45? It's your aunt Rona. My aunt Rona? Oh, boy. Hey, baby. Hey, aunt Rona. Didn't expect for you to be here. Well, I told you last night she was coming to a place she likes to call home. Wow. <laughs> I thought she meant at her own house. Not ours. Baby, you know I've always said that. Now stop adding up and come give me a hug. Oh, excuse me. Hug too. <laughs> <laughs> you